At Earl's Court in London, the radio industry lays out its shop window to the world. The 18th National Radio Show, it was opened by Vice Admiral Lord Mountbatten on Wednesday. The show is being held at a time when the radio industry has reached an all-time peak in production, with an annual output exceeding £85 million in value. And with the show thus officially opened, Lord Mountbatten became the first visitor to tour the exhibition. One of his first calls was at the BBC studio, specially built for the occasion, and from which seven television and two radio shows will be broadcast during the course of the exhibition. The programme televised last Wednesday was just being rehearsed when Lord Mountbatten looked in for an inside view. <laughs> television, of course, dominates the show. Special emphasis has been put on sets which are tuned into the new transmitter at Home Moss, the most powerful in the world, and which by October will bring another 12 million people into viewing range. While television steals the picture, radio sets are there in larger numbers than ever, with models ranging from the old-timer of the 20s to the new sets of the 50s. Among radio accessories, there's something new in rejuvenators, a process that aims to prolong the life of dry batteries. On view two is an example of electronic writing. By using a special chalk, a drawing done on a glass plate can be instantaneously reproduced on the screen of an adjacent receiver, a television transmitter in miniature. of the new television sets is this one with a 21-inch tube. Complete with radio and record player, its price is more than £500. And at the other end of the scale, there's the smallest set, with a screen of just two and three-quarter inches. It could become a bedside receiver, but it isn't yet in production. Opening day two saw the presentation by Terry Thomas of the first television set awarded by the star for the best letter writer on If I Ran the BBC. Do forgive me for turning up like this, my rompers, but we have been... <laughs> we've been having a bash at a little show that's on tonight, but if you're doing nothing else... Oh, of course you're doing time, even if you're going home early. Do we have a butcher's, we know? <laughs> and uh, you, are, you have one, this very, very lovely set. Uh, have you got a set? No, I haven't. Have, no. You're not a viewer. I am a viewer, yes. Yes, but you haven't a set. No, that's it. Uh, you haven't got a license yet, of course. No. <laughs> you will be getting one. I hope. <laughs> Good show. <laughs> well, we can do with that, my dear. Um, well, now that you have this very lovely set, I suppose you'll be able to see the, the best television program. Oh, you mean the baby I use there? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Well, at any rate, congratulations. May I present you with this, um, this little book to go with the set? Thank you very much. And I hope you will continue your authorship. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> And for giving his view on how the BBC should be run, Mr. Hutchins won a television set. 